Hi, this is John with the Fossil Channel, and today I'm going to be reviewing a uh, small AAA um, flashlight, uh, one one battery uh, flashlight here. It's called the Lumitop Tool Ti. I have the titanium model, and the model that I have happens to come with a Nietzsche 219 BT LED. Uh, so. Uh, for you, those of you who don't know what that is, that's a uh, type of LED that um, has a more of a neutral white tint to it uh, than, say, uh, a cool white uh, type of tint LED like an XML or a uh, XPG emitter. Um, so there's different types of emitters and flashlights, and each one gives you a different, uh, slight different temperature rating depending on how it's uh, constructed with the dome and whatnot. Um, so this one is a pretty nice looking light. Um, it's made out of titanium on the outside. Uh, it includes a brass piece here. And there's a lot of uh, good grip on this light. I don't know if you can see the details, but there is fine craftsmanship on this light. You can see in three different points, or four different points, where the grip is pretty useful. Um, it comes with a uh, adjustable takeoff clip where you can re reverse this clip here and have it face the other way. So if you want to put on a hat, you can um, use it. Um, what, what I like about this light is that uh, the form factor is really small, so you won't notice the weight if you do that. Um, the light comes with uh, a little extender part for a keychain. Um, I, I decided to keep the uh, the keychain clip here, it's like a crab claw clip. Um, I use it on my keys when I'm carrying around every day, you know, everyday use. It's sort of like my mini EDC light for a keychain. Um, if you can tell, the, uh, the threads on here, I believe, are trapez trapezoidal, uh, which means that they're pretty resilient um, to wear and tear. You can see the uh, O-ring here. So this comes with a uh, spare two sets of O-rings in the box. Um, I don't have the box to show you because I've had this for six months and it's um, buried in a drawer full of other light boxes right now. Um, I don't know if you, can, you guys can see the inside. Let me get a little light here to show you what we got. Uh, I don't know if you can see the inside there, but it is pretty good contact space. Um, you know, it, I don't have any problem using my AAA batteries. Um, right now I'm running N-Loop batteries, uh, so they're the best. I'm going to go ahead and load this up in here. And uh, if you can notice, the tail cap is pretty good too. It's got good spring contacts. Um, and uh, what I noticed uh, on, I believe it was the Camel Power forums, uh, a while back, a uh, gentleman, I forget his name, he took apart this uh, light. And uh, he noticed in the tail cap for this particular model, uh, only this model, the uh, Tool Ti, uh, there seems to be some sort of capacitor where this button is. Um, so it's a pretty good sturdy button here. Um, but uh, that capacitor, um, I believe it requires a pre-charge when you first get the light. So the modes may not work on here. And there's only three modes on here. Um, the light can tail stand which is kind of cool. Uh, I'll get an SC52 here for comparison, for size. Um, so you can see the size difference here. I'll turn it sideways for you too. So obviously smaller than um, the AA form factor, but uh, I'm a AA guy. So this is my first real true AAA thrower other than a mag light, um, an old one that I've had. Uh, this effectively replaces that uh, on all levels, efficiency and resistance to impacts and waterproofness and whatnot. Um, so this has three three modes to it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through them real quick. It starts always out, It always starts in the medium mode if you turn off the light for over, I think, like five seconds. It'll come back and reset to medium mode. Um, but it has three modes. It always starts in the medium. If you click it again after you turn it on, you'll get low mode, uh, which is three lumens uh, at 36 hours. And then if you click again, you get the turbo mode or the high mode at 80 lumens for uh, 30 minutes. Um, I noticed that this mode can run pretty uh, 
pretty hot after about five minutes of running just that the head of the light's gonna really heat up um, so I generally just use this guy in low mode um, I find that it's more of a practical use for me um, so those are the three modes uh, it is IPX8 waterproof according to their website um, so it's got impact resistance to about 1.5 meters um, it's saying that it goes to about 34 meters of beam distance which we will uh, figure out later on when we go outside and test. Um, overall, it's a nice looking light. It's definitely um, for people who are into flashlights. Um, and if you're looking for like an anniversary gift or some kind of like special gift idea, they give you like a nice looking box from what I remember. If I could find it, I would show you. Um, and it comes with this in it and it's like all nice and you know, done up like a ring box almost. Uh, so it, it's definitely more on the uh, extravagant side of flashlights. Um, they make an aluminum based one that's a lot less expensive. I think this goes for about $60 or so on, on the internet. Um, so it, it's a really fine craftsmanship light. Like it's so beautiful looking and I, I, I just, I fell in love with it when I was looking for a AAA light. Um, there, there are more powerful and uh, better options for AAA lights out there now. Uh, but I, I've had this for six months. Um, it's been, you know, beat up a little bit, but it, it's still a beautiful looking light. Um, so it's it's a nice nice addition to any flashlight collection. Um, the uh, I'll talk about the reflector here too, if you can see it. Um, it's got an orange peel here, and then if you see a green uh, around here, that's the um, they put a little bit of a uh, um, a photophosphorant uh, ring in there so when you shine light or when you have it on uh, it'll glow green um, I do notice that sometimes you'll have a green ring halo at the very edge of your spill which I don't particularly care about uh, some guys might get a little bit annoyed with that but uh, I think it's a small price to pay to have like some way to find your light in the dark if you drop it and it's off um, it's a pretty good idea I like it um, so yeah, it's it's got a, it it gives a nice kind of spill to it. I'll show you again on the table. So there's no real artifacts or uh, even on the low mode, it's not really uh, showing any problems. Uh, we'll see more when we go outside in a moment here. Uh, in fact, let's uh, let's go do that and see how she shines outdoors. Okay, so we have a tint test here and. You can see the SC52 first uh, generation on the left here, and we can see the Lumentop Tool Ti. Both are in their low modes. Um, I have L1 engaged on the uh, SC52, and I have just the general low mode on this guy engaged on, on the Tooltop Ti. So you can see the tint difference. Um, definitely a lot cooler on this side than, say, this side's a little bit warmer. Um, so definitely we're shooting at um, 4500 uh, temperature rating white balance on a GH2 Panasonic at ISO 640. We got an aperture of 3.5 right now and shooting at 24 FIPS. And so this is about maybe a foot away from the wall here. Okay, so this is the comparison to the uh, H52W uh, on the left side. And on the right side, I have a Lumentop Tool Ti. Um, so we can see the differences. They're both on the lowest mode. Uh, I got L1 on the H52W. Uh, this is the first generation model. So it's got a little bit more of a warmer tint and slight head difference than the H52W that they're selling right now. Um, so you can see that the color rendering, I, I, like, I prefer the color rendering on the right as opposed to my more of a it looks a little bit more like a yellowish greenish tint on the left um, at least that's what's coming out on the camera here uh, we're at ISO 640 uh, white balance temperature rating is 4500 and aperture 3.5 at 24 FIPS on a Panasonic GH2 so we're gonna go outside and do some uh, shooting on the lumen top and see what it looks like outdoors we're gonna do the low mode on the Lumentop Tool Ti. Again, we're filling with the Panasonic GH2, uh, ISO 4000 this time, an aperture of 3.5 at 24 FIPS, and uh, 
going to go ahead and show the light on low. This is Lumentop Tool TI in low, the Nietzsche 219BT emitter. So it's definitely got a nice little short range effect, which is pretty good for seeing in the dark. Um, you can definitely put this on your keychain, you'll be fine. Uh, shows up everything, colors rendering pretty good. Uh, the red brick wall there is actually coming out pretty nicely. Um, so you get about maybe two or three feet in front of you, maybe a little bit more. Uh, you can't really see it with the camera because um, I have the ISO set so low, even, even at 4000 out here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bump her up to the medium setting. So this is medium. So get a little bit more throw out of there. Got my hedge there, it's about three feet in front of me, three or four feet. And we can get about, well, I can see about 10 feet to 20 feet in front of me. Uh, you can't see it with the camera, but you can see the sidewalk there. I'm going to shoot the uh, birch trees that I always shoot over there. I uh, don't think you can see that with the medium. And there is the chair. That's about a uh, good 20 feet away. So, yeah, just about. I'm going to go ahead and put it up to the high mode here. Okay, so this is the high mode. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to change the focus here a little bit so you can see a little better. There we go. High mode, 20 feet out. So it's not going to be a thrower. This is at 80 lumens on top. You can see the uh, birch trees out there, and we can see the hedges a little bit better in front. Um, I can see out to about 30 feet decently. Um, you can kind of make out the cars a little bit. Um, definitely, it's not a thrower. It's more of a keychain backup light for doing everyday tasks, um, but it has its uses outdoors. It's more than enough to go hiking at night and do a walk in the woods. Here, I'll walk around too, to kind of give you an idea. So this is what walking is like with the Nietzsche 219B emitter and the Lumentop Tool TI. Very nice light, good looking light, great gift for anyone looking to get someone started in flashlights or if you're a flashlight aficionado. Uh, who's it for? Average Joe. Uh, you can use it in a prepper bag, uh, although there's more efficient lights in the category for it. Um, it's mainly for collectors, I'd say, but uh, still pretty good light. So that's my uh, short review of the Lumentop Tool TI AAA battery light. Uh, I'll see you guys later.